One thing that Episode 9 truly has going for itself is the fact that Luke Skywalker is making an epic return by Mark Hamill once more by writer and director J.J. Abrams. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, a lot of people have been really curious about exactly how J.J. and Chris Terry will be treating the character of Luke in this movie. Now, after all, this is a very important film, not just for Disney and Lucasfilm, but also for us, the Star Wars community, the fans who want to go ahead and see the final installment of the sequel trilogy be a success and be a film that stands out from both The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens and acts on its own as just a great movie. That's the biggest hope right now for Episode 9. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now one of which has all to do with one of the set designs that will include filming sessions between Mark Camel, Adam Driver, and Daisy Ridley. Now this is where things begin to get very intriguing for the third act of the film. So what's really interesting is that Mark Hamill is set to shoot a sequence with both Adam Driver and Daisy Ridley on the same set this week for what is being described as a confrontational scene between Luke Skywalker and Kylo Ren. It's said that Adam Driver is instructed to act intimidated for the sequence from Mark Hamill's presence as Luke Skywalker that slowly progresses to an argument between both Luke and Kylo. Another sequence to be shot will involve Adam Driver running toward Mark, where Mark is said to lift his arm up and stay in a stance that signals Luke uses the force against Kylo Ren. Daisy Ridley is instructed to act as if she has a broken leg or some significant injury. Lastly, there is a sequence that will involve Hamill walking closer to Kylo while presenting dialogue. Adam is, is instructed for his character to keep his composure as Mark delivers his lines as Luke Skywalker. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this that are really getting me very excited for this movie, and it seems as though that J.J. Abrams is borrowing elements from the original script of Return of the Jedi. Let me explain in a couple of seconds from now. So first things first, I gotta say, you know, this definitely lines directly up with the set design that we heard about a couple of months ago that was actually being built all for just Daisy Ridley, Mark Hamill, and Adam Driver to act in a single and important scene in the third act of episode 9. Which honestly I believe is going to be a scene that eventually leads to Ben Solo's you know, return or Kylo Ren's redemption arc, etc. So the thing that I really do want to go over is that this sounds somewhat similar to the original script of Return of the Jedi. Now I know a lot of you guys may not be aware. But in the original script of Return of the Jedi, as Luke Skywalker is being electrocuted by Palpatine and pretty much is in danger, that's when both Luke Skywalker, you know, of course, and Darth Vader are actually different in this version because Luke actually gets help by Yoda and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the form of Force Ghosts and actually are able to protect Luke against the Emperor. So it could very well be here that Luke Skywalker is interfering the battle between both Kylo Ren and Rey and actually you know, confronts his own nephew Kylo Ren. And that's, a borrow that's basically a borrowed element from the original script of Star Wars Episode VI Return of the Jedi. Now the next thing that I do want to go over is how there is a sequence to be filmed where Mark Hamill actually has to raise his arm up and spread his actual fingers as if he is using the force against Kylo Ren in a specific stance. So this definitely lines up with some of the concept art and storyboard descriptions that we went that we actually went over a couple of weeks ago as well as not too long ago. That definitely does tell us that there is going to be a fight to some certain level here between both Kylo Ren and the character of Luke Skywalker. And that to me I think is something that is very much needed in this movie. I don't know how people are going to actually react if this is indeed Luke Skywalker back either in the form of a force ghost or coming back to life temporarily. Maybe J.J. Abrams will do something like that where he comes back to life temporarily and then he eventually just slowly fades back into the netherworld, which we went over yesterday that there's a major hint and or indicator that that could very well be a part of episode nine. Now, the next thing that I do want to go over is the mention of Daisy Ridley having to act as if her leg is broken. Now, this also lines up with what we heard a couple of days ago about that Raylo moment 
where Adam Driver's Kylo Ren is actually helping Rey on board of the Millennium Falcon, where her leg actually appears to have some, some form of injury. Now, this definitely lines directly up with Daisy Ridley having to act as if she has a broken leg on set between both, you know, Mark Hamill and Adam Driver acting as Luke and Kylo Ren in this confrontational scene. What I also find very cool is how Adam Driver is actually instructed to keep his composure for some part of this sequence, meaning that he's listening to Luke Skywalker. He is listening to what he has to say. And I think that this also lines directly up with what Luke told Kylo at the very end of The Last Jedi, see ya around kid. There are lectures to be made by Luke to Kylo in episode 9, and I think that is indeed going to be a big part of this movie, especially in the third act of the film. Anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.